We are back at 611 on a Thursday morning and it's time to see what's happening in the 608. We're talking about a new nonprofit in the Dane County area. It's called the Kindness Bank and here to talk more about it is Julianne Gullickson, the executive director and co-founder. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, you know, inviting me. You're welcome. So tell us a little bit about the Kindness Bank. Of course, we're all about kindness. You know, what is your goal here in Dane County? Well, uh, the mission is actually to have Kindness Bank be invested in improving community health and well-being through the impact of kindness. You know, talk a little bit about where the idea came from and why you're spearheading this effort right now. Well, I actually retired after 30 years of corporate health care leadership in operations management for Walgreens five years ago. And I decided at that point when I retired that I wanted to do something more philanthropic or humanitarian. And so I transitioned my years of customer service and community outreach and I wanted to do it in more of a full-time capacity. So with the Kindness Bank, what are some of your goals goals here in the community and how are you going to work at some of those efforts? So I wanted to create an environment that we not only behind the scenes did strategic planning, we actually decided to do community events that would help bring the voice of the community to us to help us better serve them and those that, you know, to benefit the community and what they need. And so that's where we created this first event. Yeah, so you have that first event coming up this weekend. It's yes. going to be happening at Lilianas in Fitchburg on Saturday. And it also takes a lot of partnerships to be able to pull off uh, efforts like this. Yeah, I've been really lucky because of the pandemic. I've been able to spend the time and do many Zoom interviews to be able to um, network with people. But I've been very fortunate to meet some integral people that are helping me in this grassroots effort. So how can people help out right now? What kind of folks are you looking for? Actually, at this point, because, you know, COVID is now kind of lifting and we can do, uh, con you know, the importance of having connections and connectivity, I am looking for everything from board members to volunteers to people that want to work on the community outreach based on these events that we're doing that'll help us identify what the community is, is actually looking for help with. So if people are interested in helping, how can they uh, reach out to you right now? Well, right now, we with the event, they can go to events bright at uh, Eventbrite Madison and then do Dane County Kind is the new meetup group that I came up with and that actually helps kind of coalesce all of this. So they can do that for Eventbrite and get tickets for the event on Saturday or they can actually join our meetup Madison group called Dane County Kind. And then the third thing that they can do is they can go to the, the website that'll be listed here on the news and then they can go there and um, fill out a form called Connect connect with us and then that'll help us touch base with them about where they'd like to help our organization. Wonderful, Julianne. Let's throw that information up on the screen right now. There it is, the Impact of Kindness event. The first one happening this Saturday, May 7th, 1 to 3 o'clock. That's happening at Liliana's in Fitchburg. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that event coming up around 645. So Julianne, you're going to stick around for us. Oh yeah, definitely will. And I'm happy to be here. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. If you'd like to learn more, you can also go to channel3000.com. Remember to let me know what inspires you in the 608. You can reach out either on social media or email for a chance to be featured.